Ryan, I got to just start with what makes me feel comfortable about this market. McDonald's is coming to the rescue. The McRib sandwich is reemerging, and historically, <laughs> the S&P 500 is a lot higher when the McRib is available. Do you agree? Are you feeling better about that? I mean, I love a McRib sandwich, Charles. I mean, I can't, you know, I can't fight that trend. Um, I agree here. Look, I mean, there's just so much capital on the sidelines. The only thing we've seen this year is every single dip has been bought. And I think that's going to be the trend. You've got all these strategists calling for 10, 15 percent correction. They're going to be wrong, Charles. Um, I just think it's uh, it's a bull market. Enjoy it. Get invested. Don't sit in cash. Yeah, those are the same strategies that a year ago called for 5%. Then when it went up more, they called for 10%. Then when it went up more, they called for 15%. Then, you know, listen, we know the game, right? What do you think is going to be the predominant way to outperform uh, for the rest of the year? I think you have that re-rotation going on, Charles. I mean, look, we have validation now. The Fed, they're not calling inflation transitory anymore, something you and I have known all year, and we've talked about it all year. Um, you just need to uh, walk out, go to the gas station, go to the grocery store. And we saw the 10-year move 20% in over a week. That's a huge move in the Treasury market that's been kind of dormant here. So I think what the market's telling you is that cyclical trade is going to be the long game. That's the place to be. you got to own your financials, your energy, small caps, domestically, internationally, have commodity exposure. Um, that's what's been winning all year. That's going to continue to win. And what you see right now an over uh, allocation to those long duration assets like growth in tech. And I think that's the wrong move here. Uh, I got less than a minute to go. Real quick, Ryan, earnings season around the corner. You got your eyes on anything here because this is hit or miss. I mean, if you miss or you warn, the stock is going <laughs> to get hammered. It's going to be treacherous. It can be treacherous, Charles, but I think you're going to be safe if you have the energy trade in your portfolio. Look, energy prices, they're moving higher again. Um, I love Exxon here. I just think it's a pure play on fossil fuels. They're not diversifying. Peak energy demand is still years off. Uh, and right now, the multiples are cheap. You've got half the multiple of the S&P 500, and you're getting a 6% yield. Heads you win, tails you win.